This is Carrie Wachter reporting for Global Medical News from the American Academy of Dermatology's annual Summer Academy in Boston. Joining me is Dr. Stephen Feldman, a professor of pathology and dermatology at Wake Forest University. Dr. Feldman spoke about the need to understand how patients really use their medications and discussed strategies to improve patient adherence. We often think about patients using medications as you give them a medication, a treatment, you give, they have a disease, and then over time those two interact. We have to keep in mind the fourth dimension of this, which is whether patients ever use the medicine. And it turns out a lot of the time they don't. Now, I sometimes jokingly say we should not label our patients as non-compliant mm -hmm. because it's redundant. Um, what are some tips that um, dermatologists can use to um, get a feel for how well their patients are using their medication, how frequently they're using their medication, and maybe some suggestions for getting them to use them more often if they're not. In research studies, people can use electronic monitors, computer chips, and the caps. That's just not practical for clinical practice. In clinical practice, a lot of times we just have to assume that things aren't working the way they should. That we should consider strongly the possibility that the patient's not using the medication as we had anticipated. But there's also some tricks. You know, we learned to ask alcoholics, how many cases of beer do you go through a week when we wanted an honest answer? I think with adherence, we should be asking similar questions. You know, the new biologics have revolutionized our treatment of psoriasis, and I think a lot of us assume the patients are actually taking the medicine. I like to ask patients, what are you doing with the extra syringes you've accumulated? Are you keeping them refrigerated like you're supposed to? And often they'll say, oh yeah, I've got all the extra ones refrigerated. I've got about six or seven, you know, saved up. It really gives you a clue to what they're really doing. And any other strategies for, um, say, like topicals? Because I know sometimes certain topicals are just unpleasant for patients to use. Can you try to get them on different vehicles? When it comes to getting patients to use their medicine, the number one thing is don't blame the patient if they're not doing it. We have a lot of control over what they do. We can choose a treatment plan that fits well with their lifestyle. You know, we, I think we're all trained to give people ointments for dry, scaly conditions, and if they like ointments, that works great, but if they don't like ointments, something less messy may be appropriate. There's all, all kinds of other tricks we could do. Uh, dermatologists in Texas told me this great idea if you're treating women with acne and you're going to give them um, uh, aldosterone as an acne treatment, you might say, now, this is diuretic. You may notice some weight loss with this drug. But there's a lot of other things. If you're going to give people something that stings, you might tell them, now, this is so strong, it stings. Or, this may sting. That's a sign that it's working. And of course, it is a sign that it's working because it won't sting if they didn't put it on. And one of my favorite tips for improving patients' use of their medicine is to schedule the return visit for shortly after they start the treatment. You know, everybody flosses their teeth right before they see the dentist. And everybody uses their medication for a few days right before the visit. Well, if you give people a visit in a few days, they will use the medicine. They will see that it works well, and then you don't have to see them very often after that because they will know they're in control of their disease. That's a great tip. Thanks for talking with us today. My pleasure. This is Carrie Wachter, reporting for Global Medical News.